Hi guys, welcome to Scripted Success Master. Today we will learn to build fully functional leave approval system through Google Form, Google Sheets, and Google Script. Everything will be automated. Let's start to build the form. Okay, now we are at a home page. Let's open the form link. So you can go here, go down, click on the forms. So it will open blank form. So you have to click on the blank form. Now let's start to build the form first. Okay, we can put a title as a leave application form. Now let's start with the question. So once you click it here, it will take automatic heading. So let's build the first question. First question will be full name. This should be short answer, and this should be important question, compulsory question. So next, you can click it here to have a duplicate similar functioning question, or you can click it here also. I will prefer this. I will click it as a next question will be email ID. Okay, this is also will be short question and the required question. Next will be manager email ID. The manager who will approve your leave. Okay. Next will be leave type. Okay, now let's build multiple choice or a checkbox. Let's uh, let's go for a checkbox. Checkbox will have uh, let's say leave type, casual leave, then emergency leave. If you want, you can click it here, so it will by default say other. Okay, let's go to next question. Let's put next question as a start date or leave start date. Okay, this will be sorry, this will be date. Okay, this is also compulsory question. You can double click here. So let's put it as a end date. This is also date. This user also need to select the date. Next question will be duration. Duration. We can put heading separately if you want. This will be checkbox. Duration like full day. Other will be half day. Might be first half. Another will be half day. Second half, okay. And our last question will be remarks. If employee want to put anything, you can put the remarks. This will be a short answer, and this will be important. Or we can remove it as a non-important. So employee can put remarks, and if he don't want to answer that, he can leave that blank. Okay. Now move to response sheet. So where this will be sheet link where responses will get captured. Okay, so click it here. So it will ask you want to create a new spreadsheet or you want to create a sub sheet in the existing if you have any sheet. So as of now, we'll click on the create a new sheet. So it will load a new sheet for us. So I'll just zoom it a little bit for everyone's. Now this will be a template for us. We have to add three more columns at the last. Column will be status or you can say approval status. We can put it as a approve link. Next will be reject link. Okay. Now form filling and the response sheet 
it's completed now now important part to put a script you should go to extension click on app script every time the blank sheet will open now you should put it as a leave application form script click on rename whatever function you have you should delete that now you should copy the code which i will put on my blogger and i will keep the link in the description video description so now you should go to this you have to just paste it here now everything will be automated one important step we have to do it here every time we used to save it like this here but now this time we have to do click on the M, deploy click on the new deploy click here the gear button now you should click on the web application you can put a new description let's say leave application you should select user me ex execute as a me okay next should be who has access anyone okay you should deploy this after deployment you will get one link that link you have to copy uh, first of all sorry you have to authorize the access also so this will ask you to authorize the page just go ahead and authorize it okay go down just allow it okay now it will give us a link you should check for a web app url link okay when you have to click here copy you should click on the done now this copied link you have to change it here please take note ki you have to change it within these codes okay now click on a control v so you can paste the code and now you should save it okay okay every step now we have done we have built the leave application form we have built the response sheet we have built the app script okay okay now next step will be publishing this application form to the users okay now go to leave application you should click on publish so you have to ensure that this will be anyone with the link and you can publish it okay now next step will be you have to send the link to the users okay now you should copy you should click here and you should copy the link okay now go to any next tab and you can put the link and open the form so basically form will look like this to the users end users okay now let's let's test it okay as of now i will use my email id only for my email id and manager email id just for a sake of testing now i'll write it like this i'll put my name for a testing rishikesh email id i'll just copy it here copy paste next manager also i'll copy paste because it will be for a testing purpose you can you you will put it as put it here as a manager email id or during form creation you can create a drop down here if you have a limited managers in your organization next will be casual or emergency i'll just click on casual start date i'll just click today's date end date i'll just I'll, for a sake of testing i'll just click few random test up uh, date after this now i'll click whatever employee prefers let's say full day and i'll put remarks as a test remarks employee can put anything okay now go ahead and submit the button submit it now your leave application form has been submitted and you will get the response here in the sheet okay now status approval link and rejection link is still not there because we have not run it let's try 
and run it for a execution so it will ask for a permission let's go ahead for a permission don't worry click on advance click on select all click on continue okay this is execution and this is execution completed now let's go for gmail and let's see if i have received the mail yes i have received the mail which says leave request from rishikesh i will open that let's say i am a manager so you will get a mail like this so rishikesh has applied for a leave leave type casual start date this end this day and it remarks full day okay now it's in my hand i have to approve or reject it let's say i have approved it so one new page will auto populate and it will say leave approved usually you should wait till this mail sorry this message comes okay now once you approved it the employee which have filled the form will get the auto trigger mail for approval let's see see as of now we have put our mail only to test it so let's go to mail again go back and let's see if it is approved yes it is approved you can go here you can check hi rishikesh your leave approved leave request has been approved leave approved for four days so it will catch your leave leave days start date end date okay so hope you learn how to do it and how to master it okay everything is automated you don't have to think in it one last step is pending you have to go to leave application form and now you don't have to run this every time when form submits so now you should go to triggers once open you go to add a trigger you should click on the on form submit then head okay now from spend sheet as it is select event type you should you should select on form submit so what we are saying ki whenever form is getting submitted the automatic trigger should happen okay and failure notification you should click notify me later so this is something that if trigger not happened due to some error it will show you the notification in the gmail so let's go ahead and save it again you just give the approval because you are authorizing them for auto trigger mail on behalf of you so you should allow them and it's done so the auto trigger also you created a auto trigger also you have a form request as a form sheet and you have a live form also so go ahead and use it your in your organizational forms and make make everything automated thanks for watching